what we've had is a huge credit-driven boom that's driven the level of debt in America to simply unprecedented levels. If you go back to the Great Depression, for example, to get an idea of how much debt they got in back, in, back then, it began at 175% of GDP, that's just private debt, and it peaked at 235%. The reason it actually reached that higher peak is because people were actually paying their debt down, but prices were falling so rapidly and GDP was falling as well, that the ratio of debt to GDP rose, even though the absolute amount of debt was paid down. Well, this time round, we didn't actually even reach the peak of debt until it was 300% of GDP. That's just the private sector. You know, the, GDP, the, the public sector adds another 100% on top, but I'm really focusing on the importance of private sector debt here. So you got to 300% of GDP. Now, since the crisis hit, as I expected and has, has had to happen, there's been deleveraging. So both the household sector and the business sector, and in particular the financial sector, has paid their debt levels down. But you've still got a over 270% of GDP. And that's, you know, 40% higher than it was at the peak of the Great Depression and really you should be comparing it to the beginning of the whole crisis because that peak, as I said, was caused by deflation. It's 100% higher. So you're, long, you're nowhere near out of the woods and yet people are thinking, oh, okay, happy times are here again. Now happy times have occurred in the past when people have got back to borrowing more money and the debt level has risen yet again. Now I simply can't see any sector of the American private economy taking on more debt that it's already got. So at some stage that if, if they're not going to see it going from declining to rising debt once more. And that's what's caused every recovery since the post since the uh, Second World War. So they're seeing green shoots, but actually those green shoots are themselves caused by two things, the huge scale of government spending and also a slowdown in the rate of reduction of private debt. But that's that's reduction rate will turn around at some stage and I think a double dip will occur.